welcome again to my workshop. Yesterday I went to my recycling shop um, and I picked up this piece of timber. It looks as though it was a shelf um, in uh, some sort of cupboard. Um, it's oak, I would say it's Tasmanian oak, but it could be oak from England, I, I wouldn't know. Um, and it's got it's got a few screw holes in it and uh, someone's made a bit of a repair here but basically it's fairly straight and you know it's a bit stained and someone's tried to I think put wallpaper on it or something um, but I paid 25 cents for this um, and you're probably thinking to yourself well, what are you going to do with it? Well, I am going to turn this 25 cents into $150 with the PT6012 CNC router. And I can hear you, you ask it, how the hell is he going to do that? Right. Now, I am going to carve, I'm only going to carve uh, one, uh, one part. But uh, you know, I can prove to you that uh, you know this whole plank can be made into 3D plaques. Um, if you look in, if you look into my um, web station channel, whatever you want to call it, um, I show you in ArtCam how to uh, get a grayscale or take a, a relief. Uh, within ArtCam, or anywhere else for that matter, and how to process it and um, convert it to G-codes for the tools. Incidentally, we're going to be using one tool for this, and that's one of these tapered 2mm mill cutters, ball mill cutters. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do the whole process with this. Um, so we're going to Carve. Uh, I'm not quite sure what exactly we're going to carve yet. I'll choose a um, a relief, and we'll um, I'll cut the square piece off this, set it up on the machine, and we'll cut it in one cut. And um, I can you know obviously sand the edges in the back uh, to finish it off nicely. And uh, well, you know it's probably in a market somewhere, uh, when it's all nicely finished, it will fetch somewhere in the region of between 40 to 50 dollars because it will resemble a brand new piece of oak uh, with a 3D relief uh, in, in it. So without more ado, I'll just uh, cut a section off this and um, put it on the CNC router. Actually, I've just stopped it, and what I've decided to do, I've uh, rewrote the um, the G code to start in the middle and do a circular cut, cut from the middle out, uh, for just for something different, uh, other than watch the tool just go back and forth in the X direction. I'll show you something a little different. So here we go. What it's actually doing, it's doing an oval pattern.
need a piece of this old oak planking which was 25 cents from a recycling um, shop into a product that can be sold for I don't know 40 45 dollars but what I decided to do although I've carved this 3d relief or picture into this oak I've decided to leave the face of the oak as it was and I've just cleaned the back only and sides and I've only uh, in this case used linseed oil uh, to seal the, the wood, uh, the freshly cut wood which gives it that, I don't know, the antique look I suppose. Um, so that is the type of thing that you can do with these CNC routers from Pacific Tooling. Um, you can turn literally 25 cents of material. You don't have to go to a, uh, a, a timber stockist for brand new timber. You can go and get second hand timber very cheaply and turn it into a brand new product that can be sold in either a, you know, a, a studio or sell it on eBay. So basically what I'm saying is you purchase a 6012 or a 6090 um, CNC rotor or for that matter even a 1212 from Pacific Tooling and you can absolutely make money from it. You can make a small weekend part-time business or a full-time business but but don't be mistaken and go on to eBay and purchase a toy this type of CNC router is a child's toy and you're going to pay 2000 nearly 2200 US dollars for it it will not produce anything like this at all and you would be wasting your money um, it's entirely up to you uh, I've just shown you the type of thing that you can buy off eBay there are other machines that look like this but they are nothing at all like this now the cost of that what I regard as a toy CNC router is nearly 2200 US dollars the base price of this now I said I, I know in a couple of videos ago I said that I was not going to say the price but I've been inundated with so many emails that I, I'm, I'm going to have to say a price now I will hold the price as long as I can this particular 6012 base price is 4175 now you may think ooh that sounds expensive this is an industrial machine that will do what it says on its label I'm very sorry but you purchase um, a not even a similar machine a, a, a machine that I suppose is advertised to be similar as this but it's not um, you know you, you're going to be wasting your money we absolutely make industrial machines that will pay for themselves um, look if you work this machine full-time um, seven days a week which it will absolutely do 
it will pay for itself within six weeks. Now, that's a fact. Um, obviously, this particular machine, my own personal machine, is um, fully specified. Now, if you send for, if you send me an email, uh, I will send you a brochure on all our machines, and the pricing is in there as well. And you can spec these up as much as you like. So there you have it. Um, I don't like giving prices um, on, on a video, so uh, look, uh, we will hold the price um, of these machines as long as we can. Um, obviously prices can change you know, daily, um, but you know, we'll hold them as long as we can. And um, obviously this, the price I just gave you was for the 60 uh, 12. The 6090s uh, slightly cheaper. Um, I think it's about $500 cheaper. Um, and of course, the prices on large machines go up. Um, so, I hope you've liked this video today um, of really showcasing. Um, you know, you can take a recycled plank of wood of 25 cents and quite easily change it into 40, 45 dollars. Uh, because, look, these, um, this type of, shall we say, art decor. Uh, old world recycled oak uh, with a 3D carving in. Um, you know, it goes down really well and they're, they're, they're sought after this type of thing. So, uh, you know, you have the means of actually manufacturing this, or should we say, remanufacturing recycled wood. So if you're interested in a decent uh, commercial CNC router from Pacific Tooling, um, the email uh, address is uh, below this video. Uh, you, you drop me a, an email and I'll send you the details through. Um, so again, if, you've, if you like this video, please press like and um, Subscribe to my channel. That's a pretty good idea. Um, little red box down there if you're looking on a, a computer or TV. Uh, you press on that, that'll take you directly to my YouTube station. Uh, where there's now 190 videos where you will um, find an awful lot of information on CNC routers. And if you have the time and the patience, uh, you start off on my earlier videos you'll see the process that uh, I personally uh, went through and with my partners as well uh, went through to achieve what we have today uh, you know we started off with a, a relatively or what we thought at the time was a pretty good machine and found out that it was a not quite as good as what we thought but we made it a lot better, but it wasn't perfect. So we decided to design our own machines and manufacture them to make them perfect uh, and put a good deal out there for a good price. So I suppose um, also you'll find uh, quite a bit of tuition about ATCAM, Mac 3, NC Studio. These are the programs that that put the G codes together, the files that make these machines work, and indeed uh, the programs that control these machines. It's uh, it's really not rocket science. Um, 
Plus, we, you know, I, I do a lot of uh, wood turning as well. That's gone down really, really well. And uh, shop jobs that I do around here, a bit of furniture making, and uh, I, I quite enjoy doing a, a quite a bit of um, toy making as well. Which indeed you can make toys on CNC routers. Uh, at least it's a, it's a, should we say, it makes the job easier <laughs> to make it on CNC router. So. Until next time, it's bye for now.